and welcome to Detox Bites with me, Sophia, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Hawaiian spirulina powder. Um, Hawaiian spirulina comes only from Hawaii, as the name suggests, um, and it is a very specific type of spirulina that's incredibly good quality. So as many of you may already know, spirulina is an edible algae that is very easily digested. Um, and this means that the wonderful array of vitamins and minerals and nutrients are absorbed very quickly and very easily by the body. Spirulina has a very long um, history of use. It's been used for many, many years and, and also a very long history of safety testing. So it's very well known and very well tested. One thing we get asked a lot from our customers is why is Hawaiian spirulina not organic? Um, and there is a very good reason. A Hawaiian spirulina used to be certified organic um, up until 2005, um, at which point the US Organic Standards uh, Certification Board um, changed the regulations on certification concerning one specific nitrate. So it's a Chilean nitrate that is a mined nitrate and not a grown nitrate. And this is um, used in the production of Hawaiian spirulina. Um, and the, they basically said that it's not a sustainable source of nitrate, so they were no longer going to be allowed to be certified organic if they were continuing to use that nitrate. Um, there's only one company that make Hawaiian spirulina. That's, that's it, there's just one producer there. Um, and they decided it wasn't economically feasible for them to um, switch to using a grown nitrate. So they said, okay, look, we, every process is the same. Nothing has changed apart from your standards. We're gonna maintain our own standards and not be certified. So for all intents and purposes, it is organically grown and organically tested and it's, it, it sticks to all the same regulations that it did, but the regulation has changed just concerning this one particular nitrate. Wine spirulina is actually widely still called organic by a lot of people. Um, a lot of people still advertise it so, but obviously because it's not certified and we we are certified by the Soil Association, um, we can't call it organic on, our, on our, any of our packaging or our advertising. Um, it is, however, thought to be one of the best spirulinas globally. Um, it is said to be one of the most nutritious, most beneficial, and um, the best quality. As I'm sure you know, spirulina is brimming with benefits. It has a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals and nutrients. It has that very typical dark green, rich color, and that slightly um, algae, pondy taste. That is very easily hidden in green juices um, and kind of fruit smoothies and things. So you can take it really easily without noticing too much of that very chlorophyll -y kind of taste. We also often get asked, um, what's the difference between the spirulina from Hawaii and from China? Um, now, Hawaiian spirulina is globally considered the best, probably the best spirulina in the world. Um, and the price tag reflects that, it is more expensive. The Chinese is also incredible quality, it's very good, um, but it's more reasonably priced. So it is absolutely consumer choice, up to you whether you like the value for money or you want the top, top quality. And that's all I have to say about Hawaiian spirulina. So um, you can read lots more on our website or as always, Google yourself and you can find more information on there. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.